Hey everyone, welcome back to Louise Plus 10. Thanks so much for heading over to watch today's video. If you're with me on Instagram, you will have noticed last week why I wasn't doing a video. And that is because guys, I was sort of wallowing in self pity a little bit because my eldest, Helen, he actually moved out last week and I just wanted to spend the weekend with him. Um, family will always come first before my YouTube. I'm sure you all, all, all understand that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to cram in an extra few days with him and sort of not have to worry about my YouTube. So I'm sort of wondering whether I should change the name of my channel because it's no longer Louise Plus 10. It's now Louise Plus 8. And it seems so quiet when just one child goes. Honestly, it really, really does. Um, anyway, guys, today's video is going to be the obsessive compulsive cleaners comment hit back. So I'm not going to bother with positive comments. I mean, if you want to look at the comments on my obsessive compulsive cleaners appearance, just type into YouTube um, obsessive compulsive cleaners Louise and all the comments are on there. You're going to see them. I thought I would collect some of the negative comments together and sort of go through them with you and give my take on people's opinions. So I thought it'd be a bit fun, a bit different. So here goes. So comment number one, it's good to clean, but your kids shouldn't suffer due to lack of attention because you need to clean. Uh, my kids have never suffered a lack of attention, guys. People seem to have the concept of if someone's got a clean home, you must be neglecting your kids. Um, in the obsessive compulsive cleaners, they mention that I clean for six hours a day. That does not mean that I stuck my kids in a cage and clean for six hours straight in one sort of six hour period. Uh, it doesn't work like that. It just means that basically, I used to get up at half four, quarter to five in the morning. Even if I'd had two hours sleep, it did not matter. I would get up and I would clean for a couple of hours before the kids got up. And then of course, we had a couple of younger children that weren't in school. So while the older kids were in school, I would spend the two hour nap time that the younger kids had and I would clean then as well. And then last of all, when they went to bed and they were tucked in and fast asleep, I would be up till God knows what time and I would clean for another two hours. So it just means really the only person that's had lack of attention is myself because I never ever had time for myself. I didn't sit and watch telly, I didn't sit on social media like a lot of people probably do and rather than just sitting down on my ass I just decided to clean to keep on top of things. So that is how I managed to keep a clean home. Uh, another comment, she cleans and she neglects her kids so she can clean all day. Let me tell you now, my kids are far from neglected, okay? Um, I think it's really important that my kids know how to be hygienically clean. Uh, and I think it's nice for my kids to live in a clean home. I do not live to clean, guys. This is a motto of mine. I do not live to clean. I clean to live. So what that means is I don't live to clean all the time. Um, in order as for to you know, in, in order as for us to, to live, I have to clean. So basically, if I didn't wash the bed in, my kids would be in dirty beds. If I didn't wash the dishes when we'd use them, the kids would have no clean plates to eat from. If the kids, you know, weren't cleaning themselves, they would smell, they would be dirty looking, they would be neglected. If I didn't hoover my floors, my kids would be rolling around in shit all day. You know, so... I clean to live. If I didn't wash the clothes, my kids would be going around in dirty clothes. So I guess you get the gist. Um, I don't need to clean all day. I never did clean all day. I was routined, um, very good with time management, and I didn't sit around. Uh, I just kept on top of things. So, yeah. So another comment, I've heard this comment so many times. Well, I work for a start, okay, guys? There's so many comments on the appearance saying, well, I work, I do this many hours a day, blah, 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 blah. I don't have time to clean, etc., etc. Uh, for a start, I did work. I worked from home, so no, I wasn't out the house all day, but I still worked. I su sold special occasion wear, so kids' party dresses and uh, christening dresses, things like that. And... Uh, I used to do it online, I had a website, 
And what I'd have to do during the day is I would get notifications on my phone. I knew people had bought something or ordered something. I would then wait till the night time. I would package the things up. And then when I had a minute, I would nip to the post office and I would post it. So I did work. I did keep a clean home. Um, I did have nine children to look after. I did have everyday life things like you all have, appointments, grocery shopping, errands to run, and God knows what else, homework, etc., etc. But I still managed it. Um, I think if you're out of the house all day and you're working, your kids are going to be at school or nursery, your house shouldn't be getting a mess if you're not in the house. Um, and certainly if you do things straight away as it's needed to be done, no mess could ever build up. So we have another comment here. If I had nine kids, my house would be spotless too because I would put all nine of the kids to work. My feedback or my opinion of that is, then you're an arsehole. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but that's my opinion. I just think, why do I need to make my kids, you know, little robot slaves when I can actually do it myself? You know, if they've made a mess and I've already cleaned up, then yes, I'm going to say to them, right, get here, clean your mess up. I'm not a slave. Uh, and they know how to clean up. You've seen the videos of the kids cleaning up. In fact, they know a lot more than most kids, to be fair, you know. Um, they're not illiterate. They know how to do it. I mean, Poppy, she's seven. Um, sorry, she's eight now. And even she knows how to use a washing machine because I've taught her through home education. You know, it's life skills. But does that mean I'm going to go and get her to do all my washing? No. Kids need to be kids. You know, when they grow up and they leave home, they're going to be slaving over a cooker and a sink and a hoover and everything else they have to do for the rest of their lives. So, you know, why the children? Let them be kids. Um, another comment, I keep clean, but it doesn't take over my life. There is more to life than cleaning. Well, guess what, sweetie? It doesn't take over my life either. You know, I have got more things to be doing than cleaning all day long. I go to work. Um... You know, I've got errands to run, I've got appointments to make, I've got groceries to collect, I've got homeschooling to do and everything, you know, but still, I don't want a dirty home. You know, that's just my opinion. I don't see a need to have a dirty home. Like I said, it's all about time management. It's all about cleaning up straight away, doing washing on a regular daily basis. And there really is no need for anything to be a mess, no matter how busy you are in life i think the only exclusion that i feel a house is sort of okay to be a mess i guess is if you're disabled and you physically you physically can't do it and you know what if you don't want a clean home then that's fine too but why do we all have to make so many excuses as to why our home is a mess um, but yeah, it doesn't take over my life, um, as you can see from my videos, I'll do it in the morning and then things are just kept on top of as and when they're needed to be done. Um, this could develop into a problem. Will her kids be messy when they're older and she will clean her adult kids' homes? My friend's mum did just that. My friend never did anything for himself and now his mother goes to his house and cleans his home because his wife is not clean enough for her. Um, all she does is clean everywhere and she doesn't even make time for her grandchildren. Well, I can tell you one thing, my family to me is very, very important. My family will always come first before anything. Um, and do you know what? No, I wouldn't go to my kids' houses when they're older and left home and go and clean up for them because how bloody rude. You know, what? no one wants their mother coming to their home when they're adults and they're married, go walking into the home and then getting a hoover out and cleaning it. I just think that's really, really rude. Whatever my kids will be when they're older, they'll be. The only thing I'll be doing is when I go around there is seeing them and any grandchildren and they live their life the way they want to do. I appreciate not everybody wants to live clean like me. And if they're not going to be clean, then they're not, they're not going to be clean. You know, but that's not my place to do that. And I think the only time I would do that is if they've had a baby, a newborn baby, and they're exhausted, and then I would offer to help. Would you like to go and take a nap while I watch the baby? Would you like me to do a few things around the house for you? 
Um, and that's the only time I would do it is if I was genuinely, you know, trying to help out. Um, and all I can say is, shame on the mum who does that, you know, because that's really an invasion of privacy, you know, to walk into someone else's house and start cleaning. It's rude, you know. Okay, another co comment and last comment this is. Imagine being a teenager and her going into your room, complete privacy invasion. That's one thing I don't do. I mean, you've seen me clean Helen's room a couple of times before he moved out. Uh, and that was with his full permission. And actually, he'd said I could. Um, cheeky bugger. <laughs> he says, you can do a video in my room, Mum. And you can clean it while you're at it. Cheeky sod. So I did. Uh, but no, the only time I go into my teenagers' bedrooms is to just put clean washing on their bed. And I'm straight in, straight out. It's none of my business what's in their room. I certainly do not root through their things. I don't even step foot in their room. Now, I do expect the teenagers to keep the room tidy. Um, and that is one way of them getting their privacy. And um, I don't need to go in there. And sometimes I walk in to talk to them and it's a right mess. And I sort of have to walk out and I say, look, can you just clean your room, please? It's an absolute mess. Uh, but no, I certainly do not invade my kids' privacy at all. And that is it. And then we have all the comments about the walk-in wardrobe, okay? I've not written them down. Um, I'm just trying to remember some from memory here. Uh, something along the lines of how terrible the kids can't go in the walk-in wardrobe. Um, let me tell you now. First of all, I should have been more specific because actually the teenagers and the older kids could go in the walk-in wardrobe. Uh, but do you know what? You're too right. I don't want the younger kids in that walk-in wardrobe or I didn't at the time. You know, when I've spent all those hours and all my time, I'm physically exhausted through having so many children and being up through the night. Sometimes I'd only have two hours sleep. But do you know what? I don't care how tired I was. I would always be up at half four, quarter to five in the morning to, you know, take care of my family and my home. And the last thing I wanted when I'd spend all that time um, washing and ironing and God knows what, I did not want the kids in that room swinging off those rails and bringing half of the wall down with it, you know? Is that so bad? You know, I mean, there was no need for the younger kids to be in there running around like little loonies, you know? Um, don't get me wrong, if I had gone in there with them, then they were allowed, so... They just weren't allowed there on their own, uh, grabbing all the clothes off the rails. Uh, because, do you know what? I teach my kids now, the elder kids, the ones who go to work. You know, they go to work, they earn the money, they save for what they want. Uh, if they want something special in particular, uh, they buy it themselves. And do you know what? They appreciate it so much more when they do that. And that was like with me. You know, I appreciated what I did. I appreciated myself and the fact that I took all this time to make sure my kids had lovely, clean iron clothes, you know. So, yeah, forgive me for not wanting the kids to be running around in that room and trashing the walk-in wardrobe. Hell no, that, that's not what I wanted. Anyway, guys, there is hundreds and thousands of comments, uh, but we can't go through them all. One thing I do want to clarify is there was many people that actually took my comments a bit too literally. Um, one comment being about the six hours cleaning. I just don't understand how others can't do the same. And that is something I've said. And I think people took it too literally. There were a lot of people that used the common sense and the brain cells they've actually been born with. I did not mean people that were disabled or people that were ill or, you know, a genuine reason why someone couldn't clean. I did not mean them. I meant the able-bodied people like you and I, you know, people that have got no excuse and were fit and active and healthy and were more than capable of cleaning. Sometimes people just choose not to. Uh, and I certainly did not mean that people should go out and clean for six hours a day. That is not what I said. What I meant is there is no excuse not to clean, whether it be 20 minutes, half hour, three hours, five hours, whatever it is, there isn't an excuse for other people not to clean. If they are able-bodied, they just decide not to clean or they decide 
to sit on a sofa and binge watch a series for five hours or they go on the phone and the social media or they might get on the phone and ring a friend. It's not a case of we haven't got time to clean. There is always time to clean. It's just about how you manage your time and your routine and everything else that goes with it. Uh, but yeah, I didn't mean people should clean for six hours. I certainly didn't clean for six hours solid. I did it in three stages, but I always did manage to do it. And I still do, despite how busy I am. Okay, guys, so hopefully we've clarified a few um, comments there on the obsessive compulsive cleaners. And I hope you really, really have enjoyed it. I just thought it'd be something different. Um, but we will be back in the week with a cleaning video. I am going to throw in an extra video this week coming because I know I have missed uh, last week's video. And uh, I've also got my grandson coming tomorrow with Bradley and his fiance. So um, you might get to see a bit of him too. Okay, guys, I'm going to head off. Thanks for watching. Bye.